OSHA on behalf of the federal government is basically suggesting that swimming with orcas is inherently dangerous and that you can't completely predict the outcome when you enter the water or enter their environment. That's the crux of the OSHA case. Stay out of proximity with the animals and you won't get killed. It, it will have a, a ripple effect through the whole industry. This was national headline news. SeaWorld's whale performances may never be the same. Now right now, the theme park is arguing in court to keep whale trainers in the water, something OSHA says is extremely dangerous. These are wild animals, and they are unpredictable because we don't speak whale. We don't speak whale, we don't speak tiger, we don't speak monkey. And tempers flared between the two sides today when OSHA's attorney suggested that SeaWorld only made changes after trainer Don Brancho's death outraged the public. OSHA doesn't want the trainers going back in the water without a physical barrier between them and the whales. Being in close proximity to these top predators is too dangerous. They won't then be getting in the water, riding on the whales, things well, like that. If you were in a bathtub for 25 years, don't you think you'd get a little irritated, aggravated, maybe right. a little psychotic? The situation with Don Brancho, it didn't just happen. It's not a singular event. You have to go back over 20 years to understand this. It was a really exciting thing to do until everybody wanted to do it. What were they telling you you were going to do? Mm, capture orcas. <laughs> they had aircraft, they had spotters, they had speedboats, they had bombs they were throwing in the water. They were lighting their bombs with acetylene torches in their boats and throwing them as fast as they could to herd the whales into coves. <laughs> but the orcas had been caught before and they knew what was going on, and they knew their young ones would be taken from them. So the adults without young went east into a cul-de-sac, and the boats followed them, thinking they were all going that way, while the mothers with babies went north. But the capture teams had aircraft, and they have to come up for air eventually, and when they did, the capture teams alerted the boats and said, Oh no, they're going north, the ones with babies. So the boats, the speed boats, caught them there and herded them in. And then they had fishing boats with seine nets that they would stretch across so none could leave, and then they could just pick out the young ones. We are only after the little ones. And little one is, you know, a big animal still. But I was told because of shipping costs, that's why they only take the little ones. They had the young ones that they wanted in the corrals, so they dropped the same nets, and all the others could have left. But they stayed. We're there trying to get the young orca in the stretcher, and the whole fam damly is out here 25 yards away maybe in a, in a big line and they're communicating back and forth. Well, you understand then what, what you're doing, you know. I, I lost it. I mean, I just I started crying. I didn't stop working, but I, uh, you know, I just couldn't handle it. And just like kidnapping a little kid away from a mother. Everybody's watching, what can you do? It's the worst thing I can think of, you know? I can't think of anything worse than that. Now, it, this really sounds bad, but when the whole hunt was over, there were three dead whales in the net, and uh, so they had Peter and Brian and I cut the whales open, fill them with rocks, and put anchors on their tail and sink them. Well, you know, really, I didn't even think about it being illegal at that point. 
I thought it was a PR thing. They were finally ejected from the state of Washington uh, by a court order in 1976. It was SeaWorld by name that was told, do not come back to Washington to capture whales. Without missing a beat, they went from Washington to Iceland and began capturing there. I've been part of a revolution and two change of presidents in Central and South America and seen some things that it's hard to believe, but this is the worst thing that I've ever done, is hunt that whale. <laughs>